Hey, what's up everybody? This is Shut Up Dad from Craylin's Corner, and today we're going to do a true weapons test. That's right, you know how we do it here in Craylin's Corner, where we use the weapon only. No melees, no grenades, no supers, no nothing. No other weapons, just that weapon. If we run out of ammo, we kill ourselves and respawn. Alright, so we're going to do it on the Legal Action 2 Pulse Rifle. Now, New Monarchy has won the faction rally again, which I'm part of, so this was a gift from them. I believe if you want to get it, you have to spend 50,000 Glimmer. So I'm going to show you a true weapons test on this weapon in PvE and PvP. So let's go through what it has as far as the options. So it is a slow firing high damage. This weapon is more accurate when stationary and aiming down sights. Well, <laughs> when I was in the army, anytime we were stationary and aiming down sights, it was more accurate. Uh, do we? <laughs> right. Either way. So here's your first sight, the GB Iron. Second sight, you got the SC Hollow. And then the third sight, which I'm probably going to go with. Well, you know what? I'll go through all three of them. The LD Watchdog, and that's more of like a rifle scope. Uh, accurized rounds, and then you got high caliber rounds. And then Rampage kills with this weapon temporarily grants increased damage stacks three times. So we're going to go into some PvE right now, and we'll do a Vanguard Strike. Not all of it, though, so you can get a taste of how this thing kills in PvE. And then I'll jump to a Crucible match and do some PvP. All right, buddy, we are at the end of the Vanguard Strike Sabathon song, and I am going to switch the sights on this weapon so you get a feel for it, and I'm going to keep firing it. It is a three-round burst, like they said. Uh, low, slow firing, high damage. So this is sight number one, and we're going to switch it out for you, so that way you can get a feel for each one and shoot the enemies. Of course, you always want to... Uh, headshots are always the best for anything. They produce the highest rewards. All right, if I could switch this over without dying here. Let's switch over to site number two. And there we go. That's a scope. First one's a site. Second one's a scope. Second one's the third one's a scope. Okay, we're on to the next one. And then what we're going to do too is don't forget, we're going to jump into a little uh, PvP after this. And as always, remember, a true weapons test for me Maybe it's because I'm ex-military, infantry grunt in this great nation's army. But a true weapons test to me is where you use that weapon only, nothing else. No melees, no grenades, no supers, nothing. No other weapons. I don't know I don't know how I feel about it. Like, you know, I'm not seeing I'm not feeling the damage that I normally would, of course, but I'm very used to the Nameless Midnight and the Might of Multi-Tool. But either way, I do like it. I don't like how slow it fires, but that's okay. Now we're going to switch over to the more rifle-type scope in a second. Now let me just get, let me just get a little bit. Alright, here we go. I probably won't... We'll switch over to high-caliber rounds and then the LD Watchdog scope, which is... Takes it. It's so weird how it says it takes away from range, but it get gives you handling. It just what's weird about it is this is a scope that you would find on a rifle that would give you more range. I don't understand sometimes. Maybe somebody in the comment section can explain it to me. I don't understand sometimes the uh, the stats, how they come about, what they do, because a lot of times when you switch over to a scope that's like this. This is the type of scope in the real world, I guess, that would give you more range. So so far, this is this is how it looks. I'm, you know, like I said, I'm liking. I like this scope the most. All right, can you get that guy? I'll get him. I'll get him. All right, and if you're getting him, I'm getting away from him. Of course, like I said earlier, headshots always grant you the highest rewards. Uh, killing some enemy. So far, I'm liking it. All right, so I'm going to jump ahead. I'm going to jump ahead. I'm going to keep it just like this, and I'm going to jump ahead to the end of this Vanguard strike, so that way you don't have to, you know, sit through the agony of watching this whole thing. All right, folks, here we are at the end of this strike. We're going to go ahead and start here and uh, keep shooting up stuff. Wow, that was a weird glitch. You see that? And we all we have left now is that Sabaton song.
Huh? I cheated. <laughs> I want to get this over with. I used the Telesto. All right, it should be over with any second. And then stay tuned because we are going to jump right into some PvP with this bad boy. Come on, take her down. There you go. What? Wait a minute. Clash. All right, friends. So I think this is where everybody wants to see this weapon perform, and that's in the Crucible. Now, I'm going to leave the site that's on there for a few minutes, and then I'll switch to the next scope and the next scope. Um, usually in Crucible, I'll get about, say, 15 to 25 kills a match. But that's using all my abilities, you know? That's using my supers, my uh, grenades, my melees. That's using everything. we got something coming behind us. How can... Like, where was everybody? I don't know where they were there. All right. So... You know, I'm not going to use... This is how we do a weapons test. That's why I call it the true weapons test. This is how we do it on Craylin's Corner. It's just going to be using this weapon only. No melees, no grenades, no supers, no uh, no heavy weapons. Nothing. Just this. Oh, my gosh. So, what I'll do is, like I said, a couple minutes here. Now... Well, how I came about doing weapons tests like this, it is very frustrating because there's a lot of times when you want to use a melee or a grenade. Maybe it's because I, in the, you know, I was in the army, I was an infantry grunt, and uh, you know, I was. Uh, if you want to test a weapon, you got to test that weapon. Like, how can you? I watch other people that do weapons tests in Battlefield and Call of Duty. And, uh, you know, they do these tests. Like, right there, I would throw a grenade or shoot a rocket at the ground. They'll do these tests, and, um, you know, they'll get first place at the end of the match. But they use rocket launchers and melees and grenades. And to me, it's like, okay, you really only got, like, five kills with the weapon you were testing. And I don't want to do that. I think people want to see the weapon only. You know, and even though I'll probably end up doing bad, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> Alright, where is everybody here? I'm trying to find some people, but I'm not having any luck, and I don't like that. Uh, it's not a good way to do a test. Well, you ask, you will receive. <laughs> Alright, so let's switch over to the other scope. That scope's not so bad, but let's switch over to the, uh, that's a sight. The next one is a scope. Let's give this one a try, and we'll do the high caliber rounds last. All right, there we go. Little, it's, it's got, it's flipped up square compared to the other one that was orange. I'll tell you what, man, I'm having a tough time with this thing. You know, it kind of reminds me. Remember when the new monarchy won the faction rally last month, and they offered as a gift the Locator 4 auto rifle. That also was another, like, high, um, supposedly high damage, low fire rate weapon. And that thing ended up being garbage. And, and the way I look at it is if a weapon is good, you you know, how often do you get killed in the Crucible with it? Remember when the Uriel's Gift came out and, like, the one I just got killed by there, the Positive Outlook? I remember when the Uriel's Gift, everybody was using it. And people were, you know, if you didn't have it, you were getting owned. And, uh... That's pretty much how I go by which weapons I should force myself to learn to use or to use is by how often I get killed by that weapon in Crucible. This thing's a little jumpy, um, but I'm going to switch over to the next weapon after this. See, and we traded there. He had the positive outlook, and he was weak when he came around the corner. So I'm not really like... I'm not really feeling the high damage, low rate of fire with this thing. That was kind of that was kind of lame, if you ask me. It really was. Let's see, we got somebody that's. Oh, here he comes. Let's come on. Let's trade off. Come on. Yeah, what? Are, you know what? It's a game. It's free. You already paid for it. You know. Let's have a battle here. Let's fight. Where do you run to? Man, this game. I tell you what. See that. Uh, what is it? You know, does a Titan really have anything good? Um, Fist of Havoc, Pulse Grenades, but it's like the Hunter and the Warlock. They can move faster. How often if people are have been a Titan and leave in the comment section down below, 
you know, you're a titan, you pop your super, and, like this guy, went invisible. You pop your super, and there's a grenade that shows them that somebody's there, and then you can't even catch the people because they're gone. You know? All right, let's switch over to the next scope. We're going to go with the more of a rifle-type scope, the watchdog, and the high-caliber rounds, and we'll see what we got here. All right, this one's a little bit more my style, but it doesn't really mean that I'll do good or anything. All right, we got two people up there, so... Even there, though, even though there was two, I'm just not feeling the damage, you know? It's a three-round burst pulse rifle. Uh, the damage just doesn't feel like... Once again, the damage does not feel like it equals out to the low rate of fire, just like the uh, New Monarchy Auto Rifle. Yeah, see, that was that was bad. Now, I knew he had a sword, and normally I would have used something else, but either way, what are you gonna do? Okay, <laughs> uh, hopefully my teammates aren't getting mad at me here because I'm, they must be like, wow, this guy is trash. Come on, I gotta find some people. Like, I even have the Dune Marchers on, and I'm not feeling like the Titan has gained any that much. A little bit of speed, but not much. So he must have a sword, because he's waiting down. Oh, great. Right when I'm reloading. Awesome. That was perfect. Right when I was reloading. Uh, yeah, that was the guy with the sword. <laughs> All right, we're just going to keep it on this rifle in the high caliber, or this scope in the high caliber rounds. Yeah, I mean, wow, you know, I did miss his head a couple times on that, but it is a little jumpier. I don't, it's not really that stable. Come on now. We got to put on somewhat of a good display here. We can't just be owned. Talk to that one again. I don't know, folks. Let me know your thoughts. You know, I'm thinking 50% uh, user error, meaning me. And 50% weapon error, meaning it's just not, One it's, it's not that good. And like I was saying, you know, in, in the Crucible, if you get killed by a weapon a lot, um, it's not just because it looks good. People are using it, you know? And, uh, I just think that, um, them for you know, what do you see auto rifle wise in the Crucible? Uriel's gift, positive outlook. What do you see scout rifle wise? Um... You see the uh, Mita and the Nameless. Pulse rifle-wise, you see the Graviton Lance. Yeah, I'm just not, I'm not feeling this thing, people. I don't know. See, and you know, I'll tell you, it's so aggravating being like, look at this guy, he's getting away. Well, he was right there. It's just, oh, the Titan, that's all I have. That's the only character I have. I know, it stinks. Other than Fist of Havoc and Pulse Grenades, I'm just not feeling the love on this thing. Can we get one more person to come out? Yeah. Yeah, Uriel's Gift. Alright, folks. Well, there you have it. You know, I don't know. Um, not really. I'm not really impressed by what I get. Like, six kills in that one? That was horrible. I can't even... Come on, Clan X. Speak it out of the way. So, I got 11 kills in that game. Uh, that was a really bad display of crucibleism. <laughs> Let's take a quick peek at the weapon again. All right, folks. Well, there you have it. The Legal Action 2 Pulse Rifle. The reward from New Monarchy. Thumbs up or thumbs down? I, I would have to say, you know, I'm giving it a thumbs down. Not because I did bad, um, but, you know, I just, I'm not feeling that slow rate of fire, rounds per minute, 320. I don't feel like that slow rate of fire, that the damage equals out. You know, if you have a weapon that fires slowly, the damage should be a little bit higher, I think. Just like the Locator 4 Auto Rifle from New Monarchy. That thing, you know, you're not seeing a lot of people using it, if any at all, in Crucible. So that's telling you something. I have a feeling this is going to be the same thing. This is going to be something that looks really nice. And you're just going to put it up on the shelf or hang it on the wall. Um, you know, the scopes. This one's cool. I think this one, I like this one here, but this one is my favorite. But I just don't feel like this weapon is going to keep you in the mix in Crucible, you know? Like I normally run here, usually in Crucible, I will run the Nameless Midnight along with the Uriel's Gift. 
and I don't really get heavy a whole bunch because I'm usually just fighting with my Uriels. Uh, sometimes I'll switch it to the positive outlook, which is in my vault. But that's it, folks. All right, well, I really appreciate you all. Please, it helps if you share the video. Um, I know I don't get a lot of kills when I do these true weapons tests because, like I said, I use the weapon only. That's how a weapons test should be. And if I were to run out of ammo because I was doing so good because it was a great weapon, like when I used the Uriel's Gift, then uh, if I was testing it, I would kill myself or jump off the map and respawn with more ammo. All right. As always, thank you all. Have a great week. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps us out a lot. And share this video, too, to friends of yours that you know have destiny and like it. All right, everyone. Have a great day.